Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nanny. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mom. You know I love you more than anything in the world, and I'm sorry we have to do this virtually, but that seems to be the new world. I want to thank you for teaching me the greatest life lessons that I live by. Fight for what's right. Always stand up for yourself and never, ever give up. That's the way I fashioned my life after what you taught me. And I want you to know I love you and we will celebrate your birthday in person very soon. Cheers. Hi. Honey, let me first start by saying that words can never convey how much you mean to me. You have been there for me through thick and thin from the very beginning. 44 years and now I've known what a special person you are. You are the most beautiful woman, kind, caring, nurturing, smart, funny, fun, accepting person I've ever known. So many people look up to you for your wisdom and support, but mainly for your unconditional love. Thank you so much for always being there for me. I am blessed to have had such a wonderful mother-in-law all these years, and I wish I was there to give you hugs and kisses because virtual hugs and kisses just aren't the same, but that's all I can do right now. And as soon as I can see you, we'll celebrate your hundredth. I love you. Happy birthday, Grandma. I love you and I miss you so much. And I so wish that we could all be together to celebrate your 100th birthday. You are my everything. I've always looked up to you and I always will. You are the reason I will not leave the house without lipstick on. You're the reason that I will not take shit from anyone. And you are definitely the reason why I have such high standards for myself. Maybe a little too high. Might need to lower them a little bit. But the fact of the matter is you are our rock. Our family wouldn't be the same without you. We love you so much and cannot wait to celebrate with you whenever we can. I love you around the world and back again. And I'm sending you so, so much love today. Nanny, happy 100th birthday. I'm sorry that we have to celebrate like this, but I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet with a little memory that I think about a lot. Um, two years ago, when I graduated from the University of Oregon, you nicely came up for the graduation and about halfway through the graduation ceremony, which is pretty long, um, I found you in the crowd in the handicap section all by yourself. And I thought, well, that's not fun. She, she shouldn't watch this by herself. So I ended up leaving who I was with and joining you for the rest of the ceremony. And uh, that's something that I think about a lot. I think about it often and it's something that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And I love you. Happy birthday. Hi, Hi Nanny. Nanny. <laughs> Nanny, I've really been missing you these past few weeks and uh, really sad that we've had to put our lunch dates on hold for now. All I really need to cheer me up though is to think of what you said to me the other day when we were talking about the coronavirus. Uh, to paraphrase, I've lived through shit like this before and this too shall pass. This mentality totally encapsulates your strength and resilience and epitomizes why I love you. I will forever be inspired by your positive outlook and lighthearted humor in the face of adversity. I look forward to giving you a big hug as soon as possible and I love you so much. Honey, I just wanted to say thank you so much for making it to 100 because every additional year I get to spend with you is a gift. And um, I wanted to say thank you for all of the handholds, all of your brutal honesty. Um, and I know that everybody who knows you loves so many things about you, but perhaps the thing I love the most about you is that you're always present and always in the moment. And I just wanted to say that I wish I could spend your birthday with you, but I'm so excited that I get to see you pretty soon. We love you, Nanny. Happy birthday. Love you, honey. I hope you notice I am wearing lipstick because everybody looks better with lipstick. Gosh, we've been friends about over 40 years and I wanna tell you how much I appreciate you. You always have the best advice and you're always there for me. And I love you so much for that. 
And I want you to know I always think about you every morning because I remember you always told me you don't want wrinkles in your forehead. So when you put on your makeup, chin up, eyes down, and apply. Hi, honey. It's Safia. Happy birthday. I love you with all my heart and I miss you. Happy, happy birthday. You're my inspiration. Happy birthday, mommy. Because of you, I got up today after two weeks put on my beautiful blue shirt and makeup so I could say happy 100th birthday to you. You are my inspiration, you are my joy, you're what's made me strong in my life, you're everything and an example to everyone. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, 100 years, a century, a C-note. Who would ever have believed it? You know, I met you 60 years ago and I looked at Jane and I looked at you and I said, she's gonna look up, grow up to look like you. And that's what I want. So happy birthday, I love you, and I'm not wearing any pants. Love many, trust few, always paddle your own canoe. And I just want to tell you how much I adore you, how important you've been throughout my life. You've been an ally, you're bold, you're loving, and you've always listened and understood. And I, Cherish our memories of our shared love for dogs, our visiting the animal shelters together, and the two puppies you got me, Kipper and Lulu, which I believe you got without my parents' permission. I'm so sorry that I can't be with you on your birthday, and mwah, I love you forever. You are my heart. Hi, Nanny, happy birthday. I just wanted to tell you how much I love you and admire you for the way that you have endured in love through your incredible life to the point that I also put on makeup for this video because I knew you would kill me if I didn't. But more than that lesson, you've taught me an immeasurable amount in how to handle the sorrows of my own life and the joys. And I will never forget the impact that you've had on so many of my most significant moments. I love you. Hi, Grandma. Happy 100th birthday. I so wish that I could be here with you to celebrate in person. Um, I wanted to share a quick memory that I hold very dear to me. When I was in kindergarten, it was grandparents' day at school, and I remember you coming and me being so proud and so excited to introduce you to my whole class. And I was so happy that you were there that I didn't want to leave your side for a second. And so when recess and lunch time came, instead of going down to play with the other kids, I stayed up with the grandparents and ate lunch with all of you guys because I didn't want to leave your side. And I want to let you know that I hold you so dear to me and you are always in my heart. You're always on my mind. You're such an inspiration to me and I love you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful 100th birthday and I can't wait to celebrate with you in person very soon. I love you so much. Hi, Nanny. I can't believe your big milestone birthday is here and we can't be there to celebrate with you in person but I hope that you can feel that I'm with you, just like I know that you're always with me because I feel your spirit and influence in so many things that I do every day. From every time I put on just a little more makeup to every time I successfully cook a meal without measuring a single ingredient to every time I don't take any shit from someone out in the world. I know that that is because of the part of you that I carry with me wherever I go. You are my lungs, my liver, my spleen, and my whole heart. I love you. Happy, happy 100th birthday. And when this is all over, we're going to have an amazing celebration. Until then, cheers to you. A very happy 100th birthday to beautiful honey. My Fridays with you are very precious to me. You told me many things like, don't sweat the little shit. I used to wear tiny earrings, but now I am wearing honey statement earrings. And I also have lipstick on all the time. We love you. We miss you. Happy birthday. I want to tell you how much your friendship has meant to me and how much I cherish it. Um, your love and support throughout the years 
and your positive attitude has just been the biggest influence for me. Hey mommy, in honor of your 100th birthday, I wanted to reflect on the impact your life has had on your family and close friends, which impact will live on long after you are gone. In the life you chose to live, unburdened by the dogma of religious restrictions and not constrained by following other conventions, you have chosen a life of zeal and adventure, always with an open heart towards people of all races, ethnicities, sexual preferences, or social status. This openness has allowed your family to have deep and meaningful conversations with you and helped you attract a wide array of friends over the years who feel fully comfortable sharing their deepest emotions and challenges. These are rare qualities that help draw people closer and not create unnecessary barriers. Also, the challenges you have successfully faced throughout your life, coupled with the values you have instilled in your children, produced a daughter and two sons who were prepared to face their own challenges, have each been married to the same person, who each have children with open hearts and minds, many of which will then have children who will pass on these same values and worldviews. In my opinion, this is the best way to pay it forward in the most meaningful way, considering the impact your children grandchildren and great-grandchildren can and will have on their friends and community. Thank you for being you. I love you dearly. As a grandmother to our boys, you were great. If people think being in the moment and being present is a new concept, it's not. I think you've known this for a long time and that's what you've been doing. The way you would sit and spend time with the boys, reading, painting, singing, you had an infinite amount of patience and all the time in the world for them. But most of all, in terms of what you mean to me, Selfishly, I want to thank you for having Barry and for raising a wonderful son, someone so kind and caring and smart so that I could meet him and fall in love. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Happy 100th birthday. I love you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear honey. Happy birthday to you.